I want to report that over the last 24 hours we have tested a total of 1,108 samples. Of these, 22 have turned positive for COVID-19, which brings the total number of confirmed cases in the country to 1,214. The cumulative numbers of tests that we have done so far stand at 59,260. In terms of gender, we continue to see the pattern skewed towards males, with 17 of these 22 being males and five being females. The age group of the cases over the last 24 hours is between 24 years for the youngest and 73 years for the oldest. In terms of their distribution of these cases in the counties, Nairobi County reported 10 cases, Mombasa 9 cases, Kuale 1 case, Nakuru 1, and Taita Taveta 1 case. If we look at Nairobi, the breakdown of the cases by sub-county is as follows. Madare, two cases. Kibira, two cases. Makadara, Mbakasi West, Isli, Ruaraka, Langata, and Westlands each had one case. For Mombasa, the nine cases are from Mvita with five, Changamwe with one, Jomvu with one, Likoni with one, and Nyali with one. Kwale County had one case from Lunga Lunga. Nakuru County, one case from Nakuru West. Taita Taveta, one case from a quarantine facility in Taveta. We are glad to inform you today that we have discharged another three patients who have recovered from the disease bringing the total number of recoveries to 303. Again, we take this opportunity to thank our healthcare workers and hospital staff for providing the necessary and compassionate healthcare and collaboration to keep our patients safe. We also, of course, from time to time, expect that some of the cases will turn out to be fatalities. On a sad note, I report that we have lost one male patient aged 48 years old from Madare. And this brings our total fatalities to 51. Our hearts go out to the family and friends during this time of grief. Accept our sincere condolences. As I conclude, I take this opportunity to also share with you and congratulate our Acting Director General, Dr. Patrick Amoth, who this past week was elected Vice President of the World Health Organization Executive Board. This is quite a prestigious uh, appointment and a major accomplishment to one of our own and it shows the confidence with which we are being recognized internationally and in the global arena. Finally, I once again want to wish our Muslim brothers and sisters a happy Eid Mubarak. I thank you.